everyone, this is Revy Goldwasser, and this video is all about dating after divorce or a breakup. You know, divorce and a breakup, kind of same thing. But obviously, if you're not married and you went through a really tough breakup, this video will apply to you. I will be covering a whole bunch of tips. This will be tip number one, but hopefully we'll get to hundreds and hundreds. Uh, and But this is the most important tip out of all of them, uh, which is why I'm starting it, my number one. To me, there is nothing more dangerous more reckless on your part than to date right after a divorce or a breakup and listen to this video to learn why Hey guys, this is Revy Goldwasser and this video is all about dating after divorce. Tip number one, why is it the most dangerous time for you to date if you choose to date right after a breakup or divorce? So here's what happens. I strongly, strongly recommend against anyone dating right after divorce or breakup. My, my tip, especially with marriage, especially been married for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, is to really not date for one year. I, I'm a big believer of one whole year, four seasons, but minimum three months, really six months, really six months. I don't even like three months. And same thing with a breakup. If you've had a long-term relationship with a guy for two, three, four years, the worst thing that you, the worst thing that a woman can do, or or a guy, but this is even more so for a woman, the worst thing that a woman can do after being married for such a long time, and then you're dealing with the chaos and the drama and the emotional heartbreak of a of a divorce. You're heartbroken. You're you're devastated. You're 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 you know you don't know where to turn. Like everything is falling apart. Especially if you're mad. You know when you're broken up. It depends if you live with a guy or not. If you've been dating him. Uh, some of you are still living at home or have your own apartment. So perhaps you are living together, which can be harder. But when it comes to marriage and two, three, four children, five, ten, fifteen, twenty years, this is a life. This is a life that you've had with this person. And then you go through this major, excuse me, you go through this major breakup and divorce. And what most women do is that the minute they begin the divorce proceedings, right? Because getting a divorce, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes around a year, sometimes two. But what happens the minute you decide you're getting a divorce, many of you start dating. And it's so easy, right? With J date and Tinder and, and, and match and all those really fun and fabulous apps. I mean, I'm a big believer of dating and I'm a big believer that every person should absolutely find a new partner and, and experience love and be loved. I'm all for that. But the, the, the problem with dating right after that breakup is that you're so needy. You're so heartbroken. You're so weak. You're so vulnerable. You're so sad that now you're going to date. Can you even understand the point that you're coming from? Do you have any idea the kind of man that you're going to attract when you're coming from that place? You're attracting a predatorial man. You're attracting a man that he can, he can smell you. He can smell your weakness. He can smell how needy you are. And they prey on you like you're the Bambi and he's the lion. And he's going to come and he's going to kill you. He will emotionally kill you nine times out of ten. I'm not saying it's a certainty. But most of the time when women go right into dating when they're still in the midst of, of dealing with their divorce, their breakup, the heart pain, the, the money, the assets, the attorneys, or again, a long-term relationship, you're not thinking clearly. You're so needy that you will not see any red flags that a man presents because you're so craving love. You're so needing this, the, the security, the fake security, if you want to call it, which I want to talk lots more about my channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notice to get notifications of when I do uh, more videos. But you, you're attracting a predatorial man that embraces the weakness of a woman, and it's just going to create more drama and more chaos and, and, and more heartbreak. How many times do you know that women get a divorce and not even within a year, they're with another man living with him and they marry him again? I mean, it's not even a year that you recuperated from a 20-year marriage. And nine times out of 10, what happens with those second marriages? divorce. I think the statistics is 75%. So why does that happen? Why does it happen that there's such a higher percentage of, of divorce in second marriage than the first? Because you're not doing the real work. You're not doing the real work of recovery, of dealing with your actual issues of what's going on. 
So what happens because you come from such a place of lack and neediness, you go to the man to fix you. So you're sad, you're heartbroken, you don't have money, you, you want security, safety, all these uh, typical Maslow's hierarchy of needs that we have. And I will do another video on, on Maslow's hierarchy of needs because it's all related. But instead of self-fulfilling that, instead of you addressing that on your own, you go to a man and you're so broken that you go to a man, the man will get you and you'll find a man. Trust me, there's lots, they're all out there, but now you'll never be able to pull away from him because this man is the one that's helping you with your needs and you didn't fulfill it by yourself. So you're screwed again. You haven't healed, you haven't recovered, and you're going to be needy with him. And even if this man is toxic, and he will be because you're broken, you're, you're in a state of lack and vulnerability, so you're not attracting a healthy man up here. You're down here. You're in chaos and drama and heartache. So instead of coping with that on your own, with therapy, with time alone, with your children, with, with your family, with friends, with reading, with support groups, that's how you self-heal. You go to a man, you're attracting a man with equal drama, whether he's predatorial, whether he's got issues of his own, his own drama, or even worse. You know, and many of us might take a man who's even worse because we're so needy for love. And now all of a sudden now we have two kids. Well, now we just inherited the third. And all of a sudden we're taking care of his drama and his chaos and his kids. It's just a recipe for disaster. So I'm asking you to, 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 to have some self-restraint and at the very least consider six months of no dating guys. There's lots of dating. It's so easy. It's so fun. It's so fabulous, but it's so fun and fabulous when you date from a point of abundance, when you paint from a point of strength, of power, of security, of, of emotional well-being, of boundaries, you won't have that. So because you're coming from such a place of lack, you will attract men that will once again sabotage that whole space of you and you'll, you'll accept it because you're so needy for love and you'll take anything irrespective of all the red flags because you just won't see it. Okay, guys. So that is why we do not date right after a breakup or a divorce because when you do that, you will attract nine times out of 10, a predatorial man or a man who's got his own issues, his own drama, his own chaos. And you're asking for another recipe for disaster. And you will eventually have to go through that pain again. I know a woman now who broke up with her husband of 25 years of marriage because he was an alcoholic. Within one year, she married again. Met a great guy, handsome, gorgeous. Nothing like her first husband, she said. I'm like, it's too soon. It's too soon. Guess what? Two years into the marriage, he's an alcoholic. Because that's what happens. You're, you're so in so much pain from the breakup of this long marriage that you just go straight to another man. You're totally blinded. You, you, you literally don't see the red flags because all you see is the love. All you see is the security, but it's fake. It's not real love. It's not real security. It's, it's, it's fake. It's, it's cause you're not thinking clearly cause you're an emotional drama chaos. So do the very hard work. And I'm going to be doing separate videos on how to self heal, how to self recover. And when I talk about self, I'm not talking about by yourself, you're not going to be on an island alone, but I'm talking about doing it without getting emotionally involved with a man. That's what I'm talking about. And when you can self recover on your own and, and deal with your various issues, that's creating this calamity and chaos and everything calms down and it all calms down. Then you start dating and boy, oh boy, are you going to have fun because you come from such a point of abundance. You're going to see you'll attract, you'll be attracting men that you probably never in your life thought you would attract, but you will because now you've moved your vibration from down here to up here. So you're not going to even be seeing these guys. You're not, but you will be seeing guys up here. So that's the goal that I want to do in this fearless woman tribe. Uh, I want to empower you with confidence and assurance and a sense of self-worth to, to have boundaries and know that you deserve the very best period. End of story. There's no explanations, but we got to work on that, especially if you're broken hearted and coming from a place of lack because you are in pain, you are in pain, but you've come to the right place. The fearless woman tribe more to come. This was dating tip. Number one, there'll hopefully be hundreds and hundreds and down in my, um, uh, message area down there, there's links to my Facebook tribe, to my TikTok, to my Instagram 
definitely find me. I also offer a 20 minute free consult. If it's still available, it will be down in the message area of the notes under the video. Um, if we don't offer it anymore, then I'm sorry that we, we might have maxed out on space. But if, if the link is still there, then sign up. It's a free consult for a solid 20 minutes. If you want to, of course, keep learning with me, we can talk about it then. But otherwise, between all my free content and just that 20 minutes, I will transform you to become a fearless woman. Because if I can do it, then you better believe that you can too. Ciao, guys. Revy Goldwasser. I will see you soon.